In this tutorial, we'll show you how to make a Dark Ages hut with a sod roof. If you saw our two previous tutorials, then you mastered basic crafting techniques to make your own stone walls in a Viking longhouse. Today's tutorial uses many of those same techniques. For this project, you'll want a knife, scissors, Elmer's glue, a hot glue gun, a ruler, and some cheap craft paints. You'll also need a thin cardboard box of cereal, foam core board, balsa wood, and a Scotch-Brite scrubbing pad. These pads can be purchased at most grocery stores and we'll be using ours for the sod roof. We start by drawing our triangular wall ends on the foam core. Yours can be any size and shape and I'll share the precise measurements of our hut in a minute. Using a sharp hobby knife, score the foam core board and cut out your pieces. Be careful with the knife and take your time. This hut has four components, two end walls and two halves of the roof. The side walls are so low that we're just going to use square balsa wood. Feel free to pause the video now and write down these measurements as a good example for your Dark Ages hut. Now we're going to assemble the hut using a hot glue gun. You can use whatever kind of glue you prefer, but the advantage of hot glue is that it dries right away. Within a minute, you should have your basic structure assembled like this. Now we'll apply a bead of glue to one of the roof sections and gently fit them together using the building itself as a guide. Just hold the roof tight for 10 seconds and the hot glue should be cured. Next, I want to dress up the ends of the roof line with balsa wood beams. Cut some balsa to fit and apply it with hot glue. See how my balsa overhangs the side and bottom edges a bit? That's good. It's a period appropriate architectural look you want to mimic. It always helps to have a miniature figure nearby during the building process to make sure you like the scale and the size of your house. Ours is scale for 28mm figures, commonly used in skirmish tabletop games. Grab your scotch Bright scrub pad to finish the roof. Fold the pad over the top of the roof like this, and then when you're ready, take a pair of scissors and trim off the excess pad along the edges. Remember, this is a sod roof, so we want some overhang on the sides. Apply hot glue to half of the roof and then firmly press the scrub pad into place. Hold it down for 5 to 10 seconds for the glue to dry. Before I glue down the second half, I'm going to add another bead of hot glue under the roof ridge for added structural support. The roof is complete, but we still need to add detail to the outside of the building. We're going to use this thin cardboard box to add some wood elements and planking. You'll want to cut out a bunch of strips like this, any size and width you want to use will be fine, and then snip them into a variety of smaller lengths. We're going to glue those strips to the outside of the foam core. As you glue them into place, make sure to leave the rough brown facing of the cardboard exposed. This little bit of texture will make painting and dry brushing much easier later on. When you're done, don't worry if the strips are too long. You can still see all of mine sticking up here. Wait several hours for the craft glue to dry and then take your scissors and trim off the extra cardboard along each edge. When you're done, it should look nice and even like this. As a final touch, I want to add some decorative wood elements around the doorway of the house. Balsa wood works great for this purpose. Here you can see I trimmed out the doorway with balsa beams. As a final level of structural support, it's smart to add a ridge beam at the peak. When the glue is dry, all you need to do is paint your building. Here you can see two buildings we made, a Viking longhouse on the left and my Saxon hut on the right. Last week's video teaches you how to make a longhouse using very similar techniques, so if you haven't seen that video yet, be sure to watch it next. I'm going to paint my Saxon hut with these basic craft paints. We start with a dark brown and then layer on progressively lighter shades of color. I use a brand called Folk Art, but any brand of cheap acrylic paint will do. When you're done painting, here's the finished Dark Ages hut. If you want to review beginner techniques for layering, paint, and dry brushing, watch our video tutorial on stone walls. That video will teach you basic terrain painting skills. To finish the sod roof, all I did was smear on patches of Elmer's craft glue and sprinkle different blends of flock and static grass on the roof. It's a very easy way to get a great looking result. Thanks for watching our terrain tutorial. All the techniques you saw here were meant for beginners with little to no experience. We have lots of other great tutorials on the channel and all of our recent projects are intended to support our free Viking skirmish rules, Raven Feast. Raven Feast is a gateway game designed to teach new players the basics of miniature wargaming. Learn how to play for free by clicking right here.